<laughs> this guy's crazy. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you should you should get your hands onto this. Listen to what he says here. Uh, do you know why people come to the internet? All right, and then and then it says again. Uh, just think about it. It's because they don't want to watch cat videos, and it says again. Do you think people just want to sit on YouTube and scroll through? Apparently not. <laughs> get, 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 get one of these. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It's worth your time. Now listen, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. It's 2 p.m. Obviously, you know what time it is. It's uh, online prosperity time. Let's learn, have lunch, lunch and learn with Prosper and figure out stuff. Let's figure out how this whole online entrepreneurship thing happens and michelle thank you so much for tuning in i hope those videos are working and i just noticed um the system is getting you ready to start receiving the 30 emails thank you so much for trusting the process there michelle now you know before we even actually start today we're actually talking about websites and how websites are the one thing that everybody wants to jump onto without really knowing the purpose or the need for a website right now like i was reading in the online prosperity blueprint here and then it says people are coming to the internet to get information now your website is going to be the place or the hub where that information is stored and can be retrieved all right so you want to make sure that the value you're giving out there is being collected and corrected on a place that people can readily go to without them um, getting involved in anything else on the internet while they come to your page. So you want to make sure that your website is providing value. You want to make sure that your website is capturing leads. And you really want to make sure that your website is helping you make some money. All right. So if you're going to stick around with me for the next um, 30 minutes, I'll be showing you exactly how we run our websites around here, how we create them, and why it is important for you to take note of how you're providing value on that website and how you're capturing leads on that website and how you are actually making money on your website. Kylie, man, thank you so much for tuning in. What's up with you? Okay, and Erin, Erin, come on. All right, is that, is that because I'm in Australia that you don't get me your, your cheesecakes? I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, bro. Okay, I'm getting old now. I need that cheesecake um, down under. All right. So, like, um, like I was saying early on, people are coming to the internet to get information. All right. So just think about it. It's not because they're coming to um, watch, you know, all those cat videos on YouTube or to see whatever American Airlines is up to or what Donald Trump is up to. People are definitely coming to the Internet to be entertained. They're coming in for information and they're coming in for shopping. Now, if your website is not reaching out to people with those three main things, then I think you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And also you're wasting Internet space. All right. So all those real estate people start charging rent to all those websites that are not providing value, that are not capturing leads or that are just not making money online. All right. Carl says, bro, ready to see what you do for your sites. Love your live videos. Well, for sure, man. All right. So what I'm just really trying to. Uh, you know, impart onto you is I'm not going to tell you how to code. I'm not going to tell you that you need a funnel. I'm not going to tell you all that yiggity yak stuff that you get anywhere else on the internet. There's other guys or gurus that can show you that stuff. I want you to know the mindset behind having a website. And first of all, if your website is not providing value and if your website is not capturing leads and if your website is not making money for you right now, I'm giving you the permission to take it off the Internet. It's wasting space, it's wasting money and it's just not doing you any favors. All right. So at the end of the day, people do really come to the Internet to really gather information. And I want to show you what you need to start doing on your website and what sort of design flow would help you capture those leads, um, convert them and actually start making some real money using your website. All right. So a good website and, you know, a strategy for attracting visitors, you know, it might take you plus or minus 
you know, three quarters towards success. Every time I am talking to you guys online here, what I do after that is I send you off to like a landing page or to a page where you can get information, all right, where you can get information and more value so that you can make your business better, all right? Um, oh, Aaron is still talking about his, his cakes, all right? So you can bring a lot of people to the website. But if your website is not converting, or if your website is not even selling anything, then you're not doing yourself a service, all right? So you might bring people through all those other funny, um, you know, Facebook ads or clicky clack stuff that you guys are being taught everywhere else. The final step really is to get people to try your offerings and to come back for more. If you're not bringing people back, then that means your, your website is not serving you at all. And remember, people do not buy on first instance, all right? So there's things that you can put on your website to make sure that you can retarget those clients and you can then show them some of your work or get them to come back to your website, all right? First of all, one of those things is content. If you're providing value, if you're providing useful tricks, if you're providing stuff that people actually need, all right. I don't know. I think it's Seth Gordon that says that a lot of people out there are creating products and then going out to search for the market. It's the other way around. You need to find a market and create products for it. All right. And once you've done that, try and figure out ways of bringing them to your marketplace, which is your website. Get them to consume more value. And then after that, get them to leave details so that they come back for more. All right. So it's not going to be a lot of work for you to actually start talking to the people that have heard from you before. You know why? Because if you're providing value, people will always come back for more. All right. So the best way to actually do this is to treat each customer as if they were a unique entity, because every one of us have got, you know, their own unique beliefs. They've got their own unique likes, needs and wants. All right. Not everyone, first of all, is your customer and it's not a one size fit all market anymore. People are now savvy. They have so much choice. So you want to make sure as soon as they land on your um, um, uh, landing page or website, they're getting the exact information that they came for. All right. Without having been distracted with all the other things that you might think are important um, uh, for putting them onto your website then. All right. So unfortunately, with the way technology has shaped itself and availed us with a few tools, the web blends itself with the kind of pers personalization that we actually want and which actually helps people to continuously come back for more because they feel like they're being heard, all right? So this is what we're gonna be talking about. It's just a little effort that you gotta do to put up an extra page, all right? Let's say you are, um, Let's say you're a real estate uh, person. I was talking to one of my clients who's a real estate person. All right, you can't just expect people that come to real estate to be the same person. You've got a buyer, you've got an investor, and you've got a seller. All those people are three different people that need three different pieces of content and three different pieces of attention. Now, if you're going to treat them all as the same, the buyer is not going to be uh, understood because all he wants is to sell his house. The seller is not going to be understood because he doesn't want to know how much, um, you know, rent other people are getting. He wants to sell his house. The investor doesn't want to know what the buyer or the seller wants. All he wants to find is what's the cheapest property I can get in the area that I want to buy. So you see how different all these people are coming in. All right. It goes back to you knowing who your exact client is, what their needs are, and then you just go out there and create stuff that actually serves them. All right. So with a little effort, you can actually address each, um, you know, each site vis visitors needs effectively. Like I just gave the example of the real estate. It's totally different. You know, your, your investor, your buyer and your seller. All right. So you can combine all of this with an offline strategic um, approach where you 
give out content that's just designed for that particular person so that it makes sense for them and they're not going to you know have to scrunch through your website just until they find the information that they actually want all right so you know if you're going to be hitting different parts of your customer um you know chain or customer um, uh, what do you call it? Customer funnel. You need to make sure that each customer is being treated exactly where they left from. And then you are treating them with exactly the same information to get them to the next level. All right. So if your website is not con collecting email addresses, how are you going to know how to serve your clients and what it is they need and how long they're staying on your website? All right. So sometimes the basis of this customization can be as simple as a cookie or a pixel. All right, I'm not going to go into the nitty gritties of that because you don't want to know that. You just want to know what to use so that you can follow up with your clients as soon as they come onto your website. All right, so as far as I know, a cookie is that is a little morsel of code, you know, that little something that um, us tech guys work around with. It's, it's just a little bit of information that lets your website know where your customers are going and what it is they're searching on your website. OK, without this information, Amazon would not be able to give you, um, you know, highlights of other products that relate to what you are, you're buying. Or have you ever noticed if you go and search for something on eBay and you go on another website, it follows you. All right. That is what a cookie is. All right. So it's just a piece of data that's sent um, to your browser along with some sort of HTML code. And when somebody visits the site, it marks or bookmarks where they are, what they're looking for and how you can help them. All right. So the browser serves as a cookie um, to the visitor. And it's it's saved in your hard drive with your computer. And then when the computer uh, when the customer revisits your site or goes to another site, the cookie goes back to the web and it gives you back information as to what was the customer's request and it enables your site to actually realize what it is that your customer wants so that you can serve them. All right. So, you know, there's sort of other ideas that you can now do when you realize that no people are not converting at the checkout box. All right. So you could probably send them a postcard um, if you haven't heard from them or you can literally lift the phone up and ring them. Yeah. And ask how you can help them. All right. Or you can send them an email with new promotions or discounts just because they have been participating with your content. All right. Remember, there's about five billion websites out there. If somebody pays you attention, please respond to that. All right. Because there will be somebody else out there that's just waiting to get that customer away from you. All right. Offer your customers a chance to sort of win something and just make it easy for them to convert while on the website. Have you ever seen the Amazon one click, um, you know, one click sale? All right. Try and just make the process as smooth as possible. Thank you so much, Gondalpe. I know you're watching right now. OK, and you really want to. How many times have you ever gone to a website and then it says, hey, Prosper, welcome back. This is where you left off from. You feel important, don't you? All right. So you want to give your customers that experience when they're shopping, um, you know, within your website. All right. It might seem like it's a bit complicated, but you can still design your website and you can still speak to different people at the same time using the same sort of uh, platform. All right. It's just a little bit of work, a couple of pages here and there that are dedicated to the right kind of customer, giving them the right kind of product and the right kind of offer. Don't just assume that your customers know what you do. Make sure there's enough information on that website to make sure that when they're there, they're not lost. They're just directed straight from the place where they're getting content to where they can leave their email address and where they can convert. All this yiggity yaggity yaggity stuff that you guys are putting on websites is not important. All right. So you want to go in and then let's I'll give the real estate example again. Put something on the website that says if you're a buyer, click here. If you're thinking about listing your house for sale, click here. If you're a real, um, you know, or if you are uh, uh, um, uh, an investor, click here. Oh, if you want to join our team, click here. 
all those buttons and things are directly putting your client in in the direction of the kind of information that they want all right um what do you think of sign up boxes when you sign up with an email to send free offers discounts and exclusive pre-release release incentives um okay so erin are you talking about pop-up boxes let me know in the comments say if you're talking about pop-up boxes i've got something for you all right so you know the, the the customization that you can actually do it addresses to the needs of different groups you're right and people don't feel like they're being left out and they feel like they're being hurt all right so you would have made an effort to provide information that is tailored for each market segment all right i'm giving um the real estate example here because it's the one that other people don't quite realize that you need to have three distinct um you know channels of people really getting um your information now erin says sign up boxes when visiting a website correct bro okay normally those pop-up boxes they're essential all right some people would have come to your website and don't really see what it is that you're offering so if you can give them an opportunity to maybe leave um their email address in exchange of something like of value they would definitely leave their email and then you will then figure out what is it that then interested them while they were on the website and then just design information tailored to that all right and you want to make sure that as soon as you get them onto your mailing list you are now treating them as one of your own and sending them all the offers that you have i hope i've answered you uh well there erin and don't hesitate to put up those pop-ups as long as they're not annoying all right there's people that have really crafty ones like uh you think you are just gonna leave without me knowing who you are please leave your email address and i'll send you this book or something like that all right so be crafty with the pop-up boxes so that they're not annoying but they're coming in and leave a chuckle you know because people are buying on emotion all right if you're gonna make them laugh smile or be happy or laugh about it you know what i mean you know you would have evoked an emotion which would then turn them into a customer a little bit later on all right so you know you want to get visitors to actually stick around long enough to explore your site and it's very important and you gotta tempt them you know you gotta make sure that the stuff that you put on there is tempting them in the first place all right so there's a few ways of actually really capturing your visitors attention first of all what erin said you know those pop-ups there's, there's there's two different schools regarding that some people don't like them some people um like them but if you use them wisely and you make them fun people would really really appreciate it you know because you would have made their day remember guys not a lot of people are happy out there so just make it your point to make people laugh invoke emotions and with emotions come impact and with impact comes in income all right don't ever forget that all right so you want to make connections um first of all the way you do that is maybe putting a hyperlink from your email address to bring people back to your website so if you've captured their email you put an, a hyperlink back to your website so this means that most visitors um that would have come to your website would just simply click open uh on that message and then they'll send you a note or something like that you'd have brought them back to your um to your website all right but guys like i'm saying guys have fun have fun with all of this people who surf the internet are basically looking for fun guys all right you don't have to be wild or eccentric i mean unless you really want to but just make it you know make sure you are offering original content that's presented in an entertaining way if your website is too rigid people are not going to stick around for more all right people have too much options so you want to make sure that their navigation process is you know pretty exciting and they're going there they're surprised you know you're you're wowing them they're like wow i didn't know this is possible and before you know it they're like a deer that's facing um you know lights and you can just easily convert them easily like that all right all right so if you've got any questions regarding websites say let, let me know and guys don't forget to keep it simple all right k-i-s-s keep it simple very simple like a no-brainer really don't build a site that's more than three or four levels deep you know you know internet users these days they love to surf and most of them are approaching from the mobile phone so they don't want to go through and eat up all their mobile credit you know trying to figure out information on your site 
All right. So just make sure that, you know, they don't get bored when they, you know, they're sifting through your website, you know, finding loads and loads of information that they're not even looking for in the first place. All right. And also. It's easy, especially when people are coming through um, on the on, on mobile. Make sure your website is mobile friendly. Right now, if you're using a PC, press F12 while you're on your website. All right, press F12 and figure out if your website is mobile friendly or not. Okay, if it's not, go to town, fix it. All right, and then just make sure that people are actually getting value, and you're using your website to collect information and data, and you're also capturing. I mean, obviously, capturing leads and providing value. All right, guys, you need to also provide some sort of a map so that because people don't know what it is that you have, and if you don't show them, they're not gonna know. All right, so you want to use icons and buttons and you know bars or you know. You know things that just direct people that are clear and they are a no-brainer for people to click on, so that they know what it is that is coming through. All right. So if you're gonna use your own sort of jargon or secret code, make sure you are giving people information about it elsewhere, either on your LinkedIn or in your Facebook, so that when they come to your website, they're not confused. All right. Because if you you've got a secret language. And your menu is not as normal as other people. When people come to the website, they're gonna be like, "Dude, am I supposed to be doing anything with this?" Or you know what I mean? All right. So, guys, and don't be afraid to give stuff away as soon as somebody comes to your website. How many things do you like for free when you come and visit people? So you can stage a contest. Nothing is more compelling than giving something away. All right, that's the value that you give, and you know you can have you know contestants actually filling out a registration form, and then you can actually see who exactly is coming to your website, what is it that entices them, and you can test and learn as you go. All right, a website is not a be it and end all. You're gonna have to participate in groups. You're gonna have to make sure that you 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 you're bringing people towards that website so that it can actually help you. To convert, all right. Some people would actually just use that as if that's the only thing that they have, all right. There's so many ways to 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 have、um, people come to your website and make sure you're creating trust, all right. And if your website is not HTT HTTPS already, make sure you get that certified to make sure that when people come there, they are not redirected because your、um, website is not safe enough. All right. I could have talked on about、um, I could have talked on about how click funnels and everything else goes on. My suggestion to you is at least have something you can fall back on. All right. Building your business on somebody else's platform will not only make you a slave to them. If they decide to put their prices up, what are you gonna do? All right. So you want to make sure you've got a base where people can come in, they can get value from you, and you're not dependent on you putting out that value because of somebody else giving you a platform. WordPress is usually the best place to go because you've got full control and you can change it as what as many times as you want to. You can play around with the plugins, et cetera, et cetera. Do you have any questions, guys? Before I、uh, push, bazoom and go and start creating websites and、um, you know start creating content and also serving the people that are actually paying me. Do we have any questions? If not, guys, I think this has been it.、Uh, conversion is the name of the game, all right. So you really need to create a customer avatar so that you know your ideal client. And when people come through to your website, they know exactly what you're offering. They're not going to be filled with all these surprises. If you can get them. A developer to create cookies for your website—that should be cool. And guys, you should know the art and science of how to convert people when they come to your website. These are your clients. Once somebody gives you a bit of eyeballs, make sure they're there. You're giving them what they came for. Check out、uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. All these things that we're giving clients is not what they ideally want. People want. 
um, you know, freedom. People want um, things that are going to help them uh, go from where they are to where they want to be. So make sure whatever you're doing and whatever you're putting out there into the universe is serving people. And you're not just creating a website just for the sake of having one. And you're providing solutions out there for people to actually, um, you know, um, you know, benefit from that. You're capturing leads so that you can continuously, um, you know, add value to those people as soon as you're going. All right. So all this stuff is is usually part of step number two and number three of the online prosperity blueprint where you're connecting with the people you're dishing out content through your uh, website and you're engaging them you're offering them so much value and in the process you just create ways to convert them so that they can start paying you and you too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable this has been Prosper, guys, and if you're interested in joining our 30-day challenge where we're giving you uh, four videos that explain exactly how the blueprint works, and also you get a copy of um, this. This is like me talking to you uh, over your shoulder and 30 emails that come in in 30 days. Just type in blueprint at the bottom, and I'll definitely send you through um, the um, details to get onto the challenge. In the meantime, thank you so much. If you've got a website that you want me to have a look at, just post it in the comments below. No, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. Don't post any links on there. Send them into my um, uh, inbox because if you clutter my newsfeed with, um, with links, then it defeats the whole purpose. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope to catch you up tomorrow. And guys, go out there and create websites that mean something, that help people, that collect leads, and that actually serve you. All right? Stop wasting internet space. It's very expensive. All right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy.